I know who the real Jesus is and I've made the choice but it was knowing the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost the real God Holy Ghost to be able to today. make that choice If you receive him as God in the earth today, this Holy is the Jesus God you get. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. The and you walk with him by saying words. Jesus if it's your first time here, right. make sure that you like and subscribe down below. And we'll be able to get all of our new messages to you as they become available. Stay tuned and get hooked up with us. You will know the Holy Ghost. He will become God to you and you'll be able to walk with him in a greater measure than you ever thought possible. I guarantee it. I'm happy already. That's Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 15. And behold, I will make thee a new, say new. new. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. The point of a threshing instrument is to cut things. You understand? Mm -hmm. Say cut things. Cut things. Well, some of what I'm going to say tonight is going to cut into your religious thinking. And frankly, if it's religious thinking and it's not right, you should want it cut. Amen. Say, I should want it cut. <laughs> but it's going to cut you from that veil of religious thinking that's holding you back. That's what's holding you back. It's your religious thinking. Because with religious thinking comes religious believing, right? And with religious believing comes religious action. Are you here? Yeah. And really, you know, the religious action or the religious believing and the religious thinking uh, doesn't get you anywhere. Mm -hmm. Like walking on a treadmill. You're walking, you're doing the motions, but you're not getting ahead. That's right. And then, frankly, the church hasn't been getting ahead in this dispensation because this is the dispensation of the Holy Ghost, where the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And we walk with Him. So, if we want to get ahead in this dispensation, what are we going to have to do? know the Holy Ghost as God and walk with him by saying words so I'm gonna say some things tonight that will shake your religious thinking and hopefully cut cut your religious thinking from you and you can just leave it there I'm just telling you make sure you have your seatbelt on you know what seatbelts are for if you if, if something happens it holds you in your seat mm -hmm. so if I say something right you're gonna want to stay till the end because I'll, I'll it'll be okay so it'll be okay <laughs> I'll show you scriptures I'll use the Bible I'll use scriptures and it'll be okay but you need to stay in your seat so you can hear till we get to the end and it'll be okay mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you who the real Jesus is and therefore the real Holy Ghost is what do you mean real Jesus real Holy Ghost you mean there's more than one Jesus more than one Holy Ghost well you haven't been around very long you didn't get out much if you don't think there's more than one Jesus and more than one Holy Ghost out there are you here not the real Jesus say not the real Jesus, not the real Jesus. and not the, real Holy Ghost, not the real Holy Ghost but there's a lot of different Jesuses, a lot of different Holy Ghosts are you here yes. like I said put your seatbelt on and we'll stay to the end I'm gonna show you who the real Jesus is and who the real Holy Ghost is because there's not two Jesuses, there's not two Holy Ghosts there's only one real Jesus there's only one real Holy Ghost and we want to make sure we're with the right ones you understand yes. would that be good yes. shouldn't I be preaching that yes. okay well the real Jesus can only be known by the real Holy Ghost mm -hmm. first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 3 says no man can say Jesus is Lord but by the Holy Ghost so he can't talk about the real Jesus unless he has the real Holy Ghost mm -hmm. does that make sense mm -hmm. You can't know the real Jesus unless you know the real Holy Ghost John 15 26 says he the Holy Ghost when he is come he shall testify of me mm -hmm. how are we gonna know the real Jesus the real Holy Ghost is going to testify of who the real Jesus is mm -hmm. say who the real Jesus, who the real Jesus is. is so if we get the real Holy Ghost we should know who the real Jesus is and if for some reason we're not with the real Jesus the Holy Ghost will make that known to us if for some reason we're not with the real Jesus the Holy Ghost will make that known to us no, I don't know brother you're kind of making me nervous now what do you mean there's different Jesus's there's different Holy Ghosts I'm telling you and just use your noggin say noggin, noggin. 
use your noggin a little bit because if you were to go into some churches the the jesus that they're preaching is not the same jesus that other people are preaching right the same holy ghost the holy ghost that they're preaching is not the holy ghost that i'm preaching you go into church any church where they say the holy ghost has passed away or the gifts of the spirit have passed away or tongues are not for today or healings not for today i guarantee you that they must know a different holy ghost than the one i'm preaching yes. do you understand yes. but it goes much deeper than that you mean there's different jesuses there's different holy ghosts like i said first corinthians 14 said there's many voices are there many voices yes. i guarantee you you get online you go any place and a lot of them are going to be saying the opposite of what i'm saying you understand that mm -hmm. and i'm saying the opposite of what these other people are saying mm -hmm. That's right. so it can't be the same holy ghost are, do you, are you here yes. if i'm preaching by the holy ghost saying one thing they're preaching by the holy ghost supposedly saying something else then one of us ain't right brother mm -hmm. many voices well there's many gospels many jesus is remember jesus said and he said oh they're gonna say Jesus is here Jesus is there what did he say don't believe it mm -hmm. <laughs> right mm -hmm. yeah there's certain things you're not supposed to believe anyway so did we find it let me find it here uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11 I'm gonna show you the real Jesus is that okay yes. mm -hmm. and we can only know the real Jesus by knowing the real Holy Ghost and it goes that flips over too. you can only know the real Holy Ghost by knowing the real Jesus because the real Jesus is the one who sent the real Holy Ghost mm -hmm. okay I said uh, 2nd Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4 for if he that comes preaches a what another Jesus is this in your Bible yes. you thought I was making this up there no, yeah, nobody's preaching well here it says if he that comes preaches another Jesus whom we have not preached meaning it's been established they've already preached who Jesus is mm -hmm. you understand the real Jesus is the real Jesus right. and they should have been preaching the real Jesus and if we come along preaching the real Jesus we're not preaching another Jesus if he that comes preaches another Jesus whom we have not preached or if you receive another spirit which we have which you have not received or another gospel say another gospel, another gospel. so we got we got another Jesus we got another Holy Ghost right mm -hmm. and another gospel mm -hmm. could be being preached I'm telling you I'm not making this up I'm just gonna tell you who the real one is which you've not received or another gospel which you have not received you might well bear with him are you here do people bear with it and they go off in a different direction following the wrong Jesus or the wrong spirit because the wrong spirit will lead to the wrong Jesus are you here yes. you still got your seatbelt on mm -hmm. because a lot of the things I'm gonna say like I said will shake people in their religious idea because frankly they have the wrong Jesus which means they have the wrong spirit leading them to the wrong Jesus or the wrong Jesus leading them to the wrong spirit they go together within the gospel is this fun yet mm -hmm. all right so it says we got different Jesus's and different spirit different Gospels it matters what spirit you receive as to what Jesus you get mm -hmm. I am telling you if you receive the Holy Ghost as God who is the one that Jesus sent into the earth can you give me that yeah jesus at the father's right hand sent the holy ghost into the earth he is god in the earth and i can't take you up to all of that you know you understand i could preach on that and have preached on that hour after hour after hour after message after message about the holy ghost being god and be him being the one in the earth you understand mm -hmm. but he if you receive him as god in the earth today this is the jesus you get people don't that don't receive the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today are getting a different Jesus no well, I don't like that keep your seatbelt on maybe even put your shoulder strap it matters what spirit you receive as to what Jesus you get vice versa it matters what Jesus you you believe in as to what spirit you get mm 
because you could just plain have a religious spirit isn't this fun mm -hmm. would i get kicked out of a lot of churches yeah probably already they'd probably have shut me down turn my mic off well it's not their mic so i get to keep going Ooh. okay because if we don't have the real what do we have something else a different one mm -hmm. so how are we going to know him the real jesus who reveals the real jesus mm -hmm. the holy ghost mm -hmm. therefore you can't know the real jesus without the holy ghost what if we put the holy ghost on the back burner and have very little to do with him are we going to know the real jesus or are we going to end up somewhere else mm -hmm. I'm not saying you don't have parts of truth I suppose everybody has some parts of truth you understand mm -hmm. but the problem is just having parts of truth is not the truth it's contaminated truth it's corrupted truth which isn't the truth not the real Jesus mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost the Bible specifically and clearly says is the one who reveals him so the real Jesus can only be known by and through the Holy Ghost Around the age of nine years old, I had a vision. Does God, the Holy Ghost, give people visions? Mm -hmm. I could go scripture after scripture telling you this. And as I was there, I was in this vision, and there appeared in front of me two Jesuses. Say, two Jesuses. Two Jesuses. Not one. One would have been great. Mm -hmm. But two Jesuses. And neither one of them said anything they just stood there and often in a vision you'll just know what you know you know what's going on you're just in that and you understand what's happening you understand it's just given to you downloaded into you well I knew at some point in the future I knew I would have to decide and choose which one was the real Jesus and follow him that's just what I knew in this vision and the vision ended are you here mm -hmm. nine years old mm -hmm. so I needed to be able to choose now in that time I'm realizing now it took me years say years years, years to well get saved and develop and pray in the Spirit and get to know the Holy Ghost as to what actually happened there but during that time and in that same vision this message was put in me that I'm talking to you about today but I know now and I've chosen who the real Jesus is you understand mm -hmm are you happy about this I'm happy about it yes. I know who the real Jesus is and I've made the choice mm -hmm. but it was knowing the Holy Ghost the real Holy Ghost to be able to make that choice mm -hmm. I know who the real Jesus is and I've made the choice mm -hmm. but it was knowing the Holy Ghost the real Holy Ghost to be able to make that choice mm -hmm. that you got to choose one so which one will you choose I'm gonna pre present both of those Jesus to you tonight and you've got to make a choice oh I don't like this kind of message I've got to make a choice it, the choice is easy when you know mm -hmm. say the choice is easy, the choice when, is easy. You know. when you know I mean that's why the Holy Ghost came so that we would know who to follow mm -hmm. so which one will you choose you gonna choose religious man-made Jesus who comes with a religious spirit or are you gonna choose the real Jesus Bible Jesus who came in the flesh say came in the flesh, came in the flesh. <laughs> did things what did he do bore the sins of the world came in the flesh did it in the flesh and then what did he do he left did he leave yes. where is he now yes. is seated at the right hand of the Father and what is real Jesus gonna do return, return. you all know this because we've been over this so many times bringing you up to speed here the real Holy Ghost is the one Jesus sent from the right hand of the Father if we know him to be the real Jesus Jesus from the Bible raised physically from the dead and is now seated say now now, now seated at the right hand of the Father and sent the Holy Ghost then that Jesus the one who sent the Holy Ghost are you here yes. that Holy Ghost is the one that we get to know the real Jesus by so the key is the real Holy Ghost is the one Jesus sent to be with you say to be with me, to be with me. we know those scriptures right Jesus sent the Holy Ghost so Jesus could be with you no. is that what he said no. he no he sent the Holy Ghost 
to be with you what does be with you mean be with you. that that's what it means it's gonna be with so who's with us the holy ghost if he say he, he if he the holy ghost is with you then jesus is not with you are you getting this mm -hmm. all right and I, even now people are starting to think wait a minute this jesus i've been thinking about is might not be the right one i'm just going to say a few things here and you can receive it or not but my thought my authority in this message is from god it's from the word of god because i'll be preaching from the word of god but my authority in this message is of god he gave me this message it matters very little to me whether you like it or not because i have to preach what god gave me to preach so first corinthians chapter 9 verse 1 am i not an apostle am i not free have i not seen jesus our lord and are you not my work in the lord now you could go what if you didn't really know paul and you're just reading this message would you know that he'd seen the lord no well, they didn't have the book of acts you understand that where we saw that he saw the lord he's just telling them i saw the lord i saw this vision right he said am i not an apostle now the word apostle don't let it throw you people like to walk around saying oh, i'm an apostle and beat their chest the apostle means sent one mm -hmm. sent one with a message i've been given this message and i am sent to tell you about it mm -hmm. am i not a sent one okay have i not seen the lord you got to make that decision did i see the lord yes i saw two of them i saw two jesuses and that's not the only time I've seen Jesus I've seen him many other times I'm just telling you of this one time where I saw two Jesuses and I had to make a choice to which one was the real one and I'm bringing that message to you tonight which one is the real Jesus because that's the one you need to follow this is hitting some people really hard and I love it am I a sent one yes do I have this message yes have I not seen the Lord Jesus yes are you still here mm -hmm. <laughs> so for years you still with me yeah. for years I'm telling you for years I walked around with two Jesus's most people are walking around with two Je not literally because there is actually only one Jesus that's why the word Jesus is sounds so weird because you don't hear it right there is only one Jesus but I'm telling you I walked around with two Jesuses in my conception in my understanding mm -hmm. I was with one Jesus walking around religiously and the other one was gonna return someday do you understand mm -hmm. two Jesuses either Jesus is here or he isn't either Jesus is gonna return or he isn't that's later on in my message mm -hmm. most people would agree with that he needs to return which one's gonna return your religious concept of Jesus or actual Jesus say actual Jesus. actual Jesus so for years I walked around with two Jesuses say two Jesuses two Jesuses that just sounds weird doesn't it you should see it in writing one was a religious man-made concept of Jesus and one was the real Jesus because I knew some truth you understand mm -hmm. and it took a while but I got rid of one what are you supposed to do when you have that vision and you you know which one is the real Jesus what do you do you get rid of the other one That's right. because he's a fake Jesus That's right. I got rid of the fake Jesus it makes me smile on the inside and on the outside I'm happy about it guess who else is happy about it the Holy Ghost is happy about it because he's upset that so much of the body of Christ is walking around with a fake Jesus and not him you may be in the same condition and I'm here to help you get rid of the fake Jesus and to know the real one is this any good mm -hmm. well it wasn't long ago an angel came and told me to use the words I worship you Holy Ghost say use the words, use the words. I, worship you, I worship you Holy Ghost well in obedience in, in obedience to that heavenly vision I began using those words and I'm telling you it has been life transforming it has been ministry transforming and has been transforming the lives and people of those 
who will use those words and I have come to know and love the Holy Ghost in personal fellowship on a daily walk in knowing him as God say the Holy Ghost as God, the Holy Ghost as God. now last week's message I preached about it wouldn't it be wouldn't it make sense that if you were to fellowship intimately and personally with someone on a daily basis you would come to know who they really are mm -hmm. yeah well I've come to know that the Holy Ghost is God he's in the earth today and that he's the one Jesus sent mm -hmm. remember I said it matters what spirit you receive as to what Jesus you get if you worship the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today which is who he is then this is the Jesus you get and you'll get rid of the other one the real Holy Ghost is going to show you the real Jesus so anyway this is the Jesus you get and it might not be the Jesus you have what are you gonna do if, if scriptures correct you are you gonna be corrected are you gonna carry on with your little religious trail first John chapter 4 verse 1 beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they're of God because many false prophets are gone out into the world is this true yeah. verse 2 hereby know you the Spirit of God now he's gonna tell us by this we're gonna know the Spirit of God listen hereby know you the Spirit of God which would be who the Holy Ghost right every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh say has, has. Come, in the flesh. come in the flesh past tense you understand when did Jesus come in the flesh 2,000 years ago would that have been the real Jesus yes. you can't argue with that one can you he was the one who came in the flesh right manifest among men bore your sins by his stripes you were healed was buried raised on the third day mm -hmm. that Jesus say that Jesus. that Jesus right we confess that what I can say at least from this verse of Scripture if you follow me is that Jesus came physically mm -hmm. in the flesh what does that mean physically you understand that right physical Jesus yeah. say physical Jesus. Physical, physical Jesus physical Jesus is the real Jesus spiritual who Jesus is not the real Jesus you understand that's the fake Jesus mm -hmm. and we know and one of the great things about Jesus is that he made a sacrifice to come and be in a physical flesh and bone body mm -hmm. do you understand yes. and we'll see that right here Philippians chapter 2 verse 7 but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross physical Jesus Jesus entered into a physical body and is still in a physical body mm -hmm. are you here yes his body was glorified but it's still no less a physical body mm -hmm. if you were to go to heaven and see him he would be in heaven in a physical body he would still have the nail prints are you here yes. Luke 24 37 but they were terrified and frightened and supposed that they had seen a spirit say they supposed they, supposed. they had seen a spirit, seen a spirit. and he said unto them why are you troubled and why do thoughts arise in your hearts behold my hands and my feet that it is I myself would this be the real Jesus yes. all right yes. it is I myself handle me and see for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as you see me have would you agree with me that that's the real Jesus yes. he said he's not a spirit but he's flesh and bones mm -hmm. doesn't mean he doesn't have an inner inner man that's not what I'm saying doesn't mean that he doesn't have a mind and a consciousness obviously he's talking to them you understand yes but he has flesh he's he's still say still. still he's still in his physical flesh and bones mm -hmm. who is real Jesus mm -hmm. 
which means he can't be omnipresent it's one of the things that Jesus gave up to come and do what he did for you so he's not everywhere he can't be everywhere like the Holy Ghost can be but he is physically in his physical same physical body well why couldn't he just choose a new body I don't know he probably could have who knows but he didn't he's still that's Jesus say that's Jesus, that's Jesus. okay so he's in his physical body forever a spirit has not flesh and bone as you see me have is this any good yes. we're talking about the real Jesus and the real Holy Ghost and it matters what Holy Ghost you receive to whether you get the real Jesus or not mm -hmm. it matters what Jesus you believe in as to whether you get the real Holy Ghost or not mm -hmm. right they go together Acts chapter 1 verse 9 and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he say he he, he was taken up who was taken up Jesus, Jesus real physical mm -hmm. Jesus the real Jesus mm -hmm. was taken up and a cloud received him the real Jesus out of their sight and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel verse 11 which also said you men of Galilee why stand ye here gazing up into the uh, gazing up into heaven this same Jesus you got to say that this same Jesus this same Jesus which is taken up from you where into heaven so where would he be he was taken this same Jesus the one I mean literally two verses from where he was speaking to them was taken up into heaven so where is he? he's in heaven this same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven is this true yes. is this in your Bible yes. shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven has that happened yet no. almost no one would say that it has right it has not happened yet so where is Jesus the real Jesus is still in heaven the real Jesus is gonna come in like manner as we saw him physical real Jesus go into heaven he has not come out of heaven as real physical Jesus yet he said I'm gonna go to the Father and when I'm with the Father I'm going to send another that's the day we're in that's the Holy Ghost we receive it's one way or the other either Jesus is here or the Holy Ghost is here you make your choice I say make your choice you're walking around with the Holy Ghost or you're walking around with fake Jesus again got kicked out of another church mm -hmm. are there different Jesus is preached yeah. must be you mm -hmm. know I'll just put this here I was gonna say it a little bit later but I was you should do this I you know often I'll get in front of God and you know and I'll the Holy Ghost I'm worshiping him and I'll say you know Holy Ghost I'll do anything you want me to go do I'll say anything you want me to say I'll go anywhere you want me to go you should do this it's a good thing to do right mm -hmm. just presenting myself to God consecrating myself and then I found these words coming out of my mouth except I won't tell people to receive Jesus in their heart I'll go anywhere you want me to go I'll do anything you want me to do Holy Ghost except I won't tell people to receive Jesus in their heart and then he says these words come to me are you here yes. you still got your seatbelt on these words come to me he says very clearly I never told any man to tell anyone to receive Jesus in their heart so I was like oh whew, good because I'm not gonna do that I'll do anything you want me to do except that you know why because I have the real Holy Ghost That's right. and I know who the real Jesus is you can't receive physical Jesus in your heart are you here yes. besides he's not coming down this is the word of faith which we preach don't say Jesus come down from heaven and do something don't come down from heaven and do something right Romans chapter 10 are you here this is the word of faith which we preach mm -hmm. the word is nigh you in your mouth and in your heart that is the word of faith which we preach we Jesus is in heaven don't say come down right. we're still in Acts right yes. and we see that he did send the Holy Ghost in Acts chapter 2 1 through 4 but let's look 
at verse 33 for time's sake Acts chapter 2 verse 32 this Jesus which God raised up whereof we are all witnesses say this Jesus, this Jesus. you suppose they're talking about the real Jesus yeah. yes the Jesus that God raised up mm -hmm. the Jesus that they knew and walked around with and God raised up verse 33 therefore being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost he has shed forth this which you now see and hear mm -hmm. where does it say Jesus be mm -hmm. Jesus be at the right hand of God exalted he said this same this Jesus has God raised up this Jesus is at the right hand of God exalted and hath shed forth this which you now see and hear which we know to be the real Holy Ghost yeah. if you are gonna receive the real Holy Ghost where must Jesus be in heaven, in heaven not here That's right, right? Mm -hmm. if any if any spirit is saying that Jesus is with you it's not the right spirit it's a religious spirit it's a man-made conception verse 34 but David is not ascended into the heaven but he saith himself the Lord said unto my Lord sit down on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool mm -hmm. has that happened yet has all the enemies of God been made his footstool yet mm -hmm. then Jesus is still seated at the right hand of the Father what age are you in then the Holy Ghost age the Holy Ghost dispensation who do you walk around with the Holy Ghost the one that Jesus real Jesus physical Jesus sent are you here yes. you starting to see who the real Jesus is I hope so John chapter 16 verse 7 nevertheless I tell you the truth it's expedient for you that that I go away for if I go not away do you know what that means if I were to go away like a lot of you wish I would but I'm not going to if I go away go away means you go away somewhere else mm -hmm. say somewhere else. somewhere else we happen to know where the somewhere else is we have scripture on it mm -hmm. where's the somewhere else that Jesus the real Jesus went the right hand of the Father in heaven right yes. nevertheless I tell you the truth it's expedient for you that I go away if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you mm -hmm. but if I depart I will send him unto you the proof that Jesus is not here is that he did send the comforter mm -hmm. who is gonna be with you right? Yeah. right so if you're walking around with the Holy Ghost who's not here Jesus isn't here where is he he's yes. in heaven and returning say and returning. and returning this becomes important it's one of the reasons why this message has been held back until now we got to get this straight for Jesus to return the church has been so goofed up in their doctrine that he can't return until we get it straight That's right. John 14 verse 16 and I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever who's gonna abide with you mm -hmm. the other comforter the Holy Ghost who's gonna be with you the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it sees him not neither knows him but you know him how do we know him for look at for he dwells with you and shall be in you who dwells with you and shall be in you the real Holy Ghost mm -hmm. the one that Jesus sent are you getting this you should start getting happy about this so he the Holy Ghost may abide with you Jesus will come again in like manner this same Jesus stop making up a new Jesus mm -hmm. with your little religious ideas the same Jesus is gonna come he didn't contort into something else he went he left sent another the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and that's what he's the one leading and guiding and directing the church that's right. to get all of those scriptures if I had time teaching the church leading the church guiding the church mm -hmm. that one spirit does all these works all these things mm -hmm. in our dispensation where's Jesus sitting down coming again Jesus is the real Jesus mm -hmm. seated at the right hand of the Father Jesus is the real Jesus raised physically from the dead and there not here Jesus is the real Jesus right, right. sent the Holy Ghost 
Jesus is the real Jesus yes. mm -hmm. are you getting more confident about knowing the real Jesus mm -hmm. as opposed to the fake Jesus second Corinthians chapter 5 let's start at verse 6 wherefore therefore we are always confident say I'm always confident who I'm always confident I know who the real Jesus is I didn't always know who the real Jesus is I walked around with two Jesuses but I know who the real Jesus is I am always confident knowing that whilst we are at home in the body we are absent from the Lord mm -hmm. the Lord who the real Jesus mm -hmm. if I'm in home you know what being at home in the body means here mm -hmm. I'm physically alive and I'm on the earth right you're in the body what does it say we are absent from the Lord why would that be we're absent from the Lord because he's not here he's in hat real Jesus is in heaven are you here while we are at home in the body we're absent from the Lord for we walk by faith not by sight verse 8 we are confident I say and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord what does absent from the body mean meaning you probably died mm -hmm. right and where do you go after you've died to heaven and you're present with the Lord why would you be present with the Lord when you die and go to heaven because he's in heaven, he's in heaven. are you getting this yes. who are you walking around with the Holy Ghost that Jesus sent right. you're walking around with the real Holy Ghost as long as Jesus is in heaven absent from the body means to be with Jesus in the body means to be with the Holy Ghost you getting this straight Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Uh, know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? Mm -hmm. Who's dwelling in you? The, Holy Ghost. the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this? Yeah. When? When, are, when, is, when is the Spirit of God dwelling in you? While you're in the body. Right? right? Yeah. In the body is with the Holy Ghost. Say that. In the body, in the body. is with. Yeah the Holy Ghost the real Jesus is physical Jesus he's not here he shall return he sent another if you know the real Jesus this is the Holy Ghost you get mm -hmm. if you know the real Holy Ghost that's the Jesus you get the one who is with you the one who is in you that's the Holy Ghost John 14 17 says you know him for he dwells with you and shall be in you remember that the Holy Ghost is not Jesus you know how many people don't like that the Holy Ghost is not G is the Holy Ghost Jesus that makes no sense because actual real Jesus physical Jesus is in heaven and sent the Holy Ghost and he's the one that's in you it is fundamental to our doctrine I know that you know this but a lot of people you understand that a lot of people don't know that and the things I'm saying have made them want to run out of their chair and they would have if they didn't have their seatbelt on yes. which I told them to right at the beginning I said if you stay around to the end I'll show you who the real Jesus is are you seeing who the real Jesus is yes. is it clearing up it's not difficult no. if Jesus is here the Holy Ghost isn't if the Holy Ghost is here Jesus isn't and we worship the Holy Ghost why because he's God in the earth today when you wake up in the morning you walk with the Holy Ghost I'm telling you this is a new reality it's a life-changing thing to worship the Holy Ghost say when I worship the Holy Ghost my life is changed and I walk in a new reality and it's not the reality that most people have been walking in They've been walking in a religious conception mm -hmm. if Jesus is here the Holy Ghost isn't if the Holy Ghost is here Jesus isn't <laughs> you know how many people really don't like that we worship the Holy Ghost and we look forward to the return of Jesus this is the appropriate position we're supposed to be in in this Holy Ghost dispensation we're full of the Holy Ghost and we're doing what he wants done to accomplish what he wants done to put the enemies under our feet so that Jesus the real Jesus can return if you got any other conception then you're wrong mm -hmm. I'm telling you I'm telling you I'm telling you if you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost 
this is the Jesus you get because he's the real Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and he points to and testifies of the real Jesus yeah. Oh